Kingdom Talk, let's talk about it. It's Thursday. That's right, it's Thursday, and we are back in the studio on uh, tonight. And we are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Uh, grateful to God for just another opportunity to be able to come and to share with you, our Kingdom Talk listeners. <laughs> Excuse me, I am your host, Augustus Washington, Jr., and uh, we have a special guest in the studio with us on tonight. Going to give him a proper introduction momentarily. But uh, right now, I need you to get on the phone, call a neighbor, tell a friend. Kingdom Talk is on the air, and um, we're just blessed tonight. Listen, it's raining, uh, a little uh, cool outside. Feels pretty good, um, actually, outside. But um, So I want you to stay safe while you're traveling and uh, watch for the other drivers, you know. Sometimes in the south when it, you know, rains a little bit or snows a little bit, uh, people start slipping and sliding everywhere. So <laughs> we want you to be very, very careful out there, all right? But uh, listen, what I need you to do, again, get on the phone, call a neighbor, tell a friend. Kingdom Talk is on. It's the live broadcast. It's not a rebroadcast. If you're listening to this and it's three minutes past the hour of 2 p.m. on a Friday, then you are listening to the rebroadcast, okay? And if you're listening to this any other time other than uh, December the 17th, 2015, then you're listening to an archive version. Uh, but we pray that you stay tuned no matter what time you're listening because we believe that you're going to be blessed by it. We're believing tonight that this is going to be uh, a bit of a uh, prophetic uh, broadcast in nature, um, as well as just some things that we're going to be dealing with. So we'll somewhat have, uh, if you will, a spiritual gumbo going on tonight uh, as we converse about some various things. But listen, what I need you to do also, for those of you uh, that um, want to uh, listen and you can't, you're outside of the listening area of 99.9 .9 FM on your radio dial. Uh, just send your friend or your family to uh, to cwchrist.com. That's the internet, cwchrist.com. And uh, just tell them to stroll to the right of the homepage. You'll see a red tab that says Listen Live. And uh, if you have a smartphone, iPhone, tablet, desktop, laptop, uh, you name it, internet connection, you got us right in your in your pocket, around your ear, uh, in your backpack, all of that. We'll be right there with you uh, speaking the word of God, okay? And also, if you like a visual with your commentary, just stay on that same homepage. Stroll right down to the center of that homepage, and you'll see a, a Ustream a stream coming out of the studio of WCC 99.9 .9 in uh, the beautiful city of New Ellington, South Carolina. And uh, you'll be able to see us live right here in the studio, and uh, you'll be able to put a face to the voice, um, even if you don't like the face, uh, you'll still be able to <laughs> you'll still be able to do it. Okay, so do that for us, and we appreciate you. We love you to life for it. Listen, if you're on Facebook, um, you can uh, send your question or comment at any point in time throughout uh, the broadcast, and we will entertain that here. Uh, but also, uh, 30 minutes past the hour, we're going to open up the phone lines, and if you'd like to chime in on the discussion uh, via the phone lines uh, here live on the broadcast over the air. Uh, your numbers of access will be 30 minutes past the hour, 803-335-3131. Again, your numbers of access will be 803-335-3131, okay? So listen, do that for us, and uh, we welcome that here on Kingdom Talk, and we love you to life for it. We're going to pray, and then after that, we'll introduce our special guest, and then we'll get into some particulars uh, concerning the broadcast on tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this time. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to come and to share with your people uh, over the CSRA and even possibly over the world. We pray even now, Lord God, in the precious name of Jesus, that you would speak to our hearts tonight, that you would speak to the hearts even to the people that are listening and will listen to this broadcast. We pray, Lord God, that we will speak prophetically. We pray that we will speak uh, and not do your word any harm. We pray even now, Lord God, that people will be touched, that people will be healed, that people even will be delivered by this word that we'll bring forth tonight, and they will be also informed. We give you the praise for it, and we thank you now. Bless this station uh, like only you can. Let it be the beacon of light that we believe that you called it to be in this hour. We give you praise for it. In the wonderful, awesome, majestic name of the Lord Jesus, Messiah, we do pray. And all those that are listening said, Amen. Well, listen, uh, tonight we have a special guest with us. He's no stranger to Kingdom Talk, nor is he a stranger to uh, WCC 99.9 .9 FM. He has actually a, a, a show, a broadcast that he does every Tuesday night at 7, uh, from 7 until 8. It's called In the Last Days. He's the pastor uh, of the Johnson Church of God 
uh, right there in Johnston, South Carolina off uh, Slide Hill Road, as well as he is a bishop in the Lord's Church, uh, has been ordained uh, by the Church of God. And uh, we are blessed to have him here. He's also part owner uh, of WCC 99.9 FM. And we're just blessed and gracious to have him, uh, uh, grateful to have him on the broadcast with us tonight here on Kingdom Talk. And he is in the person of Pastor Steve Hall, again, pastor of the Johnston Church of God in Johnston, South Carolina. Pastor, how are you, sir? I am doing fine. Uh, thank you, Pastor Washington, for that illustrious <laughs> uh introduction there i appreciate that and i'm yes, excited sir. to be on your program tonight with you yes i do believe kingdom talk touches a whole lot of loyal listeners out there amen and some that might be tuning in uh tonight they'll be in for a treat if they'll just tune in all the time yes but uh especially hang on as we talk about what's going to be happening in these last days yes absolutely and um no pun intended but uh, ironically you're your broadcast is in the last days, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but but I, I, I want to. I guess I want to start the, the, the conversation tonight uh, with uh, just number one, some things that we were conversing over. I believe it was yesterday. Yes. Um, the Lord just created a situation for us he to did. to talk again. Uh, not that that we're enemies or anything. This is my brother from another mother. That's right. Uh, Amen. But just ministry. And all of the things that come with that, uh, you know, just missed each other. But yesterday, uh, what's, what's today, Thursday? Yes, yesterday we had an opportunity to talk. And um, I just want you to kind of start right there uh, because I believe there is what's going to uh, allow us to get to, uh, to let our listeners know kind of where we're going because yesterday was really a prophetic moment. It was a very um, big prophetic so, moment. So speak to that. And, and again, this is a conversation that me and Pastor Steve uh, Hall uh, was having on yesterday. Uh, and, and as we uh, continue to matriculate through the conversation, you'll see uh, what we're going to be talking about and how all of this kind of led up. So speak to that, Pastor. Yeah, well, I appreciate the invitation and the privilege to be on your show tonight. And it was yesterday. Uh, morning actually when I was in my prayer time I was talking to the Lord and I had just done a Tuesday night show and got halfway through a list of the things we look for when we think Jezebel is involved in a mm -hmm. church or in a, a, a situation yes and uh, didn't get very far didn't get through with that program but then the very next morning which was yesterday yes. which was Wednesday morning I wake up and this thing is still on my mind so mm -hmm. I start doing more research and then I go into my prayer time and I do, I'm not in prayer time for a long time. And I do pray extended periods at times, but yes. within a few minutes, God had come in the house and he was talking to me and he tells me, I want you to declare and make war against the spirit of Jezebel. Yes. And that started quite a trip in my brain. I should say, <laughs> you know, what does this mean? God. Yes. And so I understood and heard the voice of God. And uh, I prayed some more about that. God revealed some more things about the spirit of Jezebel. Had a great time of revelation. And at the end of that, I was left with my head kind of spinning yes. uh, in this whirlwind of information and the call that God had given to me. Mm -hmm. And, of course, when that happens, as we've talked about, mm -hmm. there's these other voices that come. Is that really God? Or, yes. Or, and so I, I know the voice of God, but at the same time, the enemy always tries to come and steal the seed yes. that God is planting. Uh, for your future absolutely and uh, then just like you said by god's intervention yes i called you yes and uh you can pick it up from there if you'd like and okay throw some yeah you, light well on. you 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 called and uh we were we were talking and conversing over j just some things and um kind of catching up and you begin to tell me uh, about what i just told them about the right call of God to fight against uh, Jezebel's spirit. Yes, and I guess about 30 seconds to a minute, or maybe a minute and a half into the conversation, I move into the prophetic, just, yes, just, just like, like that. that. In the middle of the conversation, I said, he just went somewhere. Yes. That's, that's what my mind told me. Yes. You were you were talking to me, and then suddenly you were not talking to me, but you were still speaking in the phone. Yes. And at that time, I'm holding my phone, and I'm listening. Because I hear God speaking, yes. and He's speaking to me at that time, 
specifically yes. that prophecy was generated right towards me now later on he spoke again through you yes. and that was generated towards things that are coming things that are coming the future events is yes. soon now when i say future i don't mean far yeah right. i mean right now kind right, of right. tomorrow type yes future. like close things yes within um, a year yes i believe um, that with all my heart now i don't know what you i don't know what you want them i don't know what you want them to hear as far as what the lord spoke to you but um speak to some of uh what because one of the things because a lot of time when i prophesy i don't always remember very everything do yeah, I remember. that's the same way with me yes sir but when i was praying god had showed me when he told me that he wanted me to make war against the spirit of jezebel mm -hmm. now that was a bombshell revelation i'd never heard anybody choosing a spirit and being assigned by god to attack it yes. i know in the demonic realm that demons are assigned to attack ministries demons right. are assigned to attack pastors and yes. churches and leadership uh, it goes all the way down from the white house to my house to yes. every house that demons are on assignment yes. kill steal and destroy but i'd never heard another minister say i've been assigned to destroy attack yes. and uh, do all i can to hinder this spirit in its operation yes so that threw me in a whirlwind and god knew he knew they would do it and he was giving me confirmation mm -hmm. he began to say to me you remember when you was a kid I said, yeah, Lord, I remember. You remember how your dad and your mom were the strong traits that they have. Yes. And he says, and you know that from a child, you've had that that strong trait in you, the yes. good parts of their traits. And I said, I know, Lord, yeah. And he says, you're going to need that. Wow. You're going to use that. I'm going to use that. Now, Kingdom Talk, listen, I need you to listen to what he's saying because this is going to get interesting. This right is going to get interesting. <laughs> and then I said, and I, and I'm talking to the Lord now. God is really talking to me because he's just gave me assignment. And I've got questions about it. Yes. And I said, Lord, if I declare war on this high ranking spirit, there will be repercussions. Yes. Because I say this regularly. If you push against the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness will push back. Absolutely. And so I was voicing my concerns to the Lord. And the Lord said, I'll give you thousands and thousands of angels to war on your behalf and nothing will harm you or your family. Wow. He comforted my heart. Yes. Knowing that at my disposal, when I go to war against the spirit, that God will be with me. It will not affect the church in a negative way. Or if it is attacked, then the angels of God will come and fight against that Absolutely. attack. Absolutely. And I felt good about that. Yes, give I his said, angels well, Lord, charge over us. That, 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 and I felt good. I said, well, that makes me feel better yes. about this calling that you've given to me. And I said, well, God, show me some things. What do, I, what do I need to look for? And man, did he open my eyes. He said, there's a spirit of Jezebel working in this department. And, I, and, and he showed me the White House. Mm -hmm. He said, there's a woman. We know her as Hillary Clinton yes. trying to get in the White House. He said, check out who she is. And I, I thought, I know who she is, Lord. She is one of the strongest pro-abortion advocates that's out there. Wow. She's one of the strongest pro-women's agenda that's out there. And, and it's like the Lord said, now check out the spirit of Jezebel. She loves blood. She yes. murdered the prophets of the Lord Yes, and loved that blood. Mm -hmm. Nobody stopped her from shedding that blood. I, and he said, and what is she advocating? The killing of the innocent, yes. the killing of God's children. Yes. What else does she advocate? Women's rights. All right. I'm not against women being women, right. but when they usher up authority over a man, yes. that has contradicted the word of God. Absolutely. And so in the spiritual realm, in the church realm, I understand we're supposed to guide everything and we decide by this book, by the word of God. Yes. Now, the, the secular world is not that way. It should be, Yes. but it is not. But still, God showed me in this woman there is a strong Jezebel spirit that if it gets to the White House, it will dominate every man in politics wow. because it is the head then. Yes. So you'll have a Jezebel spirit in the White House. Wow. And that's just one thing. He showed me churches and how churches are being affected by this Jezebel spirit. And then he reaffirmed again, I want you to do what I'm calling you to do. So how did you, how were you able to press through all of that? Uh, well, it throwed my head in a spin and and god really gave me some assurance and and then i felt like okay this conversation just ended mm -hmm. you know god was through talking i was through listening yeah and i'd asked the questions he'd given me answers and so i started reading about jezebel in the scripture i went to the book of kings and i was reading there and and it was just like okay take a break steve yeah just try to pull your head together and yeah. that's when your, your and my conversation started so then when you began to prophesy i said all that so that we they could see something absolutely when I was talking to you, 
and you went into the prophetic mode, you began to speak to me. And boy, it, the things that you told me, I can remember specifically. Mm-hmm. You, you said uh, there was things in your childhood that God showed you and that you saw as strengths. Mm-hmm. And that wow. God says those strengths are going to be there to help you fight the enemy. Yes. And I just, when you said that, you had me 100%. <laughs> Ain't nobody knew that but me and God. You and God. That was a private conversation. Absolutely. And then you went on to say that in the realm you'll be going into, in that realm, you don't have to worry about your protection. That wow. God will protect you. So I forgot about that. Yeah. And you, and you said, it, I think it was three times, don't worry, don't worry, and don't worry. God has your back. He yes. is going to protect you from the uh, attacks of the enemy. Wow. And then I think he said something concerning he's given you a, uh, what was it, a, a a warring a spirit, warring something like that, spirit. The Lord said. he yeah. was going to make me into a warring a war, spirit yeah a war, and yeah, that uh, yes. i would be successful every time i would face the enemy that god through the warring spirit would be successful wow and uh it's amazing <laughs> yeah that's because amazing. in when god talked to me about the angels he said i'll give you these angels to protect you and i'm gonna just tell it like it is okay okay and it was like he gave me the ability to give them charge Mm -hmm. Like if I'm going somewhere, I need angels to go and they'll come. Mm -hmm. It's it's not that I have power over the angels. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they are like assigned to the mission. Now, let me let me interject there because because somebody may. You know, be like, well, what is he talking about? But what you're saying is really not off because the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that the angels are ministering angels for those who are the heirs of salvation. Amen. What that means is that they do our bidding. Mm -hmm. When we speak the word of God and we declare, then they begin to work on our behalf. And so, so that the scriptures validate what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So we don't want people to think, you know, that that we're just out on a limb. Yeah. And I'm not trying to usher up any authority. Right. But uh, in the realm that I was in and where me and God were discussing <clears throat> these things, uh, he let me know. Now, I understand I can't tell angels what to do. That's my right. will. But when angels are assigned to a task or to a ministry or to something that God wants to accomplish, then when I'm operating in that mode and going in that direction, Absolutely. they are in charge to go with me. And when you declare the word of God, they're behind it. They have to work based on what that word is based on the assignment amen so yeah. i'm not i'm like you said i'm not trying to paint a picture that yeah okay so i know that some people just dismissed me and said okay <laughs> no, he just no, no. he's he thinks he's spiritual superman but you know people who know me know my personality and they know that i'm not trying to be a grandiose person at all right. i am who i am yes but when god gives me a task i also apply myself to accomplish the task yes and uh, this so uh, i believe will be a long time assignment in, in, in the midst of, of, of this conversation, uh, the Lord also began to speak about calamities that will be coming. Yes. Um, and oh, it was just so much. Was, you know, there was a break between those two. Yes. <clears throat> when you had prophesied and, you know, it was like, wow, and then it stopped. And I said, Jesus, thank you. And I told yeah. you, I said, brother, you don't know, but you just confirmed. Right. And there were more things, uh, even more than that all confirmation and i said brother god just confirmed it really strengthened me to know that that was really from god Mm -hmm. no more doubting it i mean no having to question it at all so i I was certain and then we talked about that Mm -hmm. and then the prophetic came again Again. and you know this is why uh pastor steve uh, and for those of you that are listening uh, all our kingdom talk listeners and uh for those that uh may be listening on uh ustring god bless you thank you for tuning in um This is why we, the church, have to rise in this hour. Because where we are going prophetically on the prophetic timetable, um, we've got to have the fivefold ministry giftings in place. When when Ephesians 4 and 11 talks about the fivefold ministry gifts and the the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher, the Bible says he gave these gifts, the Greek word doma, which means presence. He gave these gifts of presence to the church for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. That's it. And this is why it's so important um, 
that we have all of these giftings functioning yes. in our lives because as you were saying it wasn't that you didn't know the voice of God you knew the voice of God but he came and strengthened you through the prophetic and caused what has already he had already given you and you were willing to accept he yes. just strengthened you in it and yes, gave you another level of boldness That's to be right. able to go forward and and so this is where we are prophetically because what's getting ready to happen in America and in the world we've got to be ready and we've got to hear a word from the Lord and of course we thank God for the Logos the, the Bible mm -hmm. the Word of God we thank him for that uh, however, we need a rhema word from time to time yes. that comes straight out of heaven, comes out of Holy Spirit himself and, and speaks to our heart and allow us to, to have strength. The Bible says that Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, he knew the will of God because he was the will of God. That's right. And, 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 and in the midst of that moment, his flesh uh, wanted to rise up. And he said, God, if there's any way out of this, let me out. That's right. But the Bible says, he says, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. And yes. we think that's where it all stops. No, this is what we were talking about earlier, the genesis of the broadcast. Because even though we know the voice of God and we know what he said, that flesh many times will rise up. Yes, it will. He had to pray three times. Yes, to break that flesh. To break that flesh. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says after the third time he prayed, angels came Ministry. and strengthened him yeah. and ministered unto him. Yes. And so... I don't know what they said, but they said something to him. They ministered That's to right. him, and it strengthened him to the point that he says, hey, you go on and sleep now. I'm good. And so that's where we are now, and that's where God is wanting to get the church because we're getting ready to move in some some very rough times. And for those of you that listen to this broadcast or, or know anything about my ministry, you know I believe in pre-trib. I don't get into a whole lot of hoopla, big, long debates about it. Right. It is what it is uh, because whether it's pre-trib, mid-trib, or post-trib, you need to be ready in whatever trip. Because he's coming. <laughs> he's coming. So I do believe in pre-trib, but I do understand and I know prophetically that there are some terrible things that's going to happen before the rapture. Amen. And we talked about those things. Uh, just a bounce back before I bounce back forward. Okay. Uh, what you were saying a while ago, when you had, when we talked about the conversation that we had to really uh, strengthen my faith, yes, sir. The, the Bible says it this way: that make your calling and election sure. Yes, because there's great deceptions going on in the world today, and people are saying that God told me to do this and God told me to do that when they have not heard truly the voice of God. Wow! For some people, will come to Jesus on the day of judgment, and say, "Lord, in your name, didn't we cast out demons? Didn't we do all these wonderful miracles?" And Jesus said, "Depart from me, I never knew you." And yes. one of the things Jesus said. Right before he left the earth was he gave some final instructions. And I'm only going to read one. Mm -hmm. Maybe the most important one in Matthew chapter 24 that deals with the last days was the very first thing Jesus said. He says, take heed. Now, Jesus said, yeah. be, watch this. Oh, yeah. Take heed that no one deceives, deceives you. you. So, and even when you go to First and Second Timothy, you see great deceptions are warned by Paul to Timothy. Absolutely. In the last days great deceptions yes. would come yes and so there's great deception so this confirmation is an important thing absolutely uh just because you're in prayer don't think that demons ain't trying to whisper in your ear that's right something that will distract you and not only keep you from praying get you away from the will of god but absolutely make you miss the call of god that's true uh so there's a lot of people that get lost in this god told me to do this and when I look at what they're doing, I say, God says not a million miles, because it contradicts the word. Absolutely. And God's not a million miles of that, brother. Wow. So that happens a lot of times. I just want people to be careful yeah. because there's a great deception going on, and a lot of people think they're doing the will of God, but they're still living in immorality. Exactly. And now, speak to that for a moment, because there are many that, that, that uh, and, and we'll continue, but there are many that, that as you say it, think that they're doing the will mm -hmm. of God. Uh, but but they're they are living in immorality. They are living in uh, lies. They're just all kind of things that are happening. Uh, but they feel like they're okay. Yeah, and here's the scripture for that. It's in First Timothy chapter four and verse one. And you just described it. All I got to do is read it. Okay. And this is what it says. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons speaking lies and hypocr hypocrisy 
having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. Wow. So they are those that's left the faith. They they knew God, mm-hmm. but now a spirit has come, a deceiving spirit with doctrine that comes from demon and not from God. Yes, and doctrine is just a teaching. It's a teaching. Yes. So they've given heed to something that is unbiblical, all right? Or it's uh, extra biblical. Yeah. Or, you know, they go beyond and yes. say they've got a new revelation that contradicts the word of God. Absolutely. And uh, so Jesus warned in Matthew 24, the first thing he warned about was deception. Mm-hmm. And that was Jesus. But then you get to the Spirit's dispensation after Jesus was taken up. And it says expressly the, ser- the Spirit says. Jesus said it. Now the Spirit's saying it about many will depart from the faith. And, brother, that's what, what I'm trying to warn people about. Uh, don't go off on a limb on some crazy uh, crusade yeah. and think that God has called you unless you can conform, confirm it by the word of God. Yes. And and like when you and I were talking, God confirmed it. Yes, it did. And it did not contradict any parts of his word. That's right. And it was backed up a sacket by God. So when I got the sacket of God, and that means an agreement, mm-hmm. uh, you sacketed what God had told me. Uh, so it was like I was talking to myself and telling myself what God told me. It was amazing. Yeah. So uh, there it is. People do go after these tangents, and God's not in it. And one of the things, uh, Pastor Steve, the, the the King James says that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing mm-hmm. spirits and doctrines of, of devils or doctrines that demons teach. Yes. I want you to speak to that because, to me, that ties in this Jezebel spirit. The, sedu- the seduction and deception is Jezebel's forte. It's what mm-hmm. she does. Now, let me take that back. It's what it does best. If I say he or I say she or I say it, it is referring to the Jezebel spirit. Right. Uh, the Jezebel spirit would be a fallen angel. It is a ruling spirit. It is not an earthbound spirit. Mm-hmm. There's a difference there. I don't have, I probably won't go into that, but it is a ruling spirit and uh, it is in charge of the hierarchy in administration of the government of darkness. Yes. Uh, don't picture demons all the same, doing the same thing. No. No. They are very organized. They have strategies. They have special ops teams. Absolutely. They have specially trained uh, demons that, that bring lust. The, the, the demon that brings lust and, and a demon that brings anger can be two different, totally different demons. Yes. And their assignments are totally different. Yes. And so this spirit of Jezebel, it has many attachments. It has, if it was an octopus, it has many tentacles. Absolutely. That, uh, and many and most of them have something to do with deception and uh, doctrines of demons. Wow. And you know, that's addressed in the book of uh, Re- Revelations too. Yes. Where Jesus says, I have this against you through the church of Thyatira because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, yes. to teach my servants to partake in sexual immorality. Yes. And Leading eat them away. Yeah, yeah. So it was the doctrine and it was her charisma. It was her ability to deceive. Yes. And uh, so that's what God has put in me as a call to fight against. Yes. Because it's very prevalent in in in, in our society and our in, in, in Christendom. It's Thirty minutes now past the hour of seven PM. You're inside the live broadcast of Kingdom Talk. I'm your host, Augustus Washington Jr., along with my special guest tonight, uh, Pastor Steve Hall, pastor of the Johnson Church of God in Johnson, South Carolina. We're dealing with uh, uh, a myriad of things really here uh tonight. Uh, we pray that we're giving you something that will help you. I know we're kinda uh, jumping around a little bit. It's just so much that we want to give to you. Uh, but I want to go to um, social media real quick. want to say a great big God bless you to uh, Sarah Benning. Tune in and listening. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Also to Angelia Jackson. She's tuned in and listening. Also to uh, Minister Glover as well as Annette Glover. They're tuned in and listening tonight. We thank God for you for tuning in. Appreciate you for doing that. Um, now it's 30 minutes now past the hour of 7 p.m. If you have uh, a question or a comment and you want to chime in, on the discussion thus far, your numbers of access, if you'd like to call in, your numbers of access are 803-335-3131. Again, 803-335-3131. You can call in uh, to the studio and we'll entertain that. If you uh, don't want to be on the air, you can hit us up on Facebook right now. We're monitoring that page 
And uh, we welcome that here on Kingdom Talk. So if you have a question or comment, you can hit us up on Facebook as well. Just go to Kingdom Talk and uh, we'll uh, we'll get that question or that comment. Uh, some of the things, Pastor Steve, that uh, as we were conversing on uh, uh, Wednesday, yesterday, um, some of the things that we began to talk about was some of the things that the Lord was sharing. And, and let me say this, too. Um, I was I was I was talking with um, a couple of pastors about. Uh, a month or so ago and we were talking some uh things concerning the po political uh, uh arena <clears throat> and uh, as we were conversing over that one of the things that that it just come to me i said i said if um if hillary clinton becomes president mm -hmm. that'll be the last one mm -hmm. uh, we had a prophet to come in the very uh, I don't know, might have been the next night. Uh, we were in revival that week. Mm -hmm. um, and the Lord had shared with him that the church need to pray because um, he he felt, I can't remember exactly what his words, but he said that if uh, she would became the president, uh, she would be the last sitting president. Now, that means a great deal. But let me go to the mm -hmm. Kingdom Talk phone lines real quick. Caller, you're live on the air with Kingdom Talk. What's your question or comment? God bless you. How are you guys doing? Doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. Great program. God bless you both. Um, I just wanted to ask if you guys or you all or you gentlemen can elaborate on seducing. Because some people only take that to be sexual. Okay. Do you mind elaborating on when you when you hit the point of the Jezebel spirit being seducing? Mm -hmm. If you okay. don't mind. Okay. All right, Pastor. Thank you. Yeah, uh, this is Sarah, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hey. How are you? I know your voice. Yeah, I'm doing <laughs> fine. Thanks for calling in. And that is a very good question because the spirit is, is not uh, male nor female. Uh, mm -hmm. It is a fallen angel. And, and therefore... Uh, it has an agenda, but that agenda has a persona, a personification to it. And uh, that personification is geared towards the feminine side. Mm -hmm. But I believe right. the spirit itself is more of a masculine spirit. And that reason uh, is, is kind of more attractive, I believe, to the ladies. Because uh, that it is easy for that spirit to allure uh the ladies that promises them strength that promises them love it promises them companionship but at the same time it's going to co totally take over their personality it will become intimately related with them but at the same time uh it will be using them to do uh terrible terrible acts to uh, actually be used to destroy what god is building and what god is planting uh, but yes it is uh used mostly some some of the uh, things I've read about uh, this spirit is probably it was present in the garden when Lucifer himself tempted Eve to partake of the fruit. And when Eve was convinced by Lucifer to take that fruit, that there were other angels there. Mm -hmm. There were the fallen angels there. Right. And they were watching. And uh, there was one of them, and the ancients call it Lilith. Mm -hmm. And they believe that Lilith immediately picked up on something that if they could use a gender temptation and that's what satan did actually the very first one to fall was eve into transgression and because of that that this spirit that they call lilith all right not lucifer but lilith saw i can work through the women mm -hmm. i can be a specialized a specialist in the area and if i can work through and use manipulation and control i can use mm -hmm. that sect but i can also use it to destroy uh, that same spirit, all kinds of uh, things in the spirit. Let me show you another way. I don't mean to, to linger too long on that point, but let me show you the same seducing spirit of Jezebel that we portray as the the feminine side is very easy to get into a pastor's council mm -hmm. because then they get a spirit. Oh, we want to manipulate the pastor. We want to control the pastor. Or it right. can get in the choir. We want to sing right. these songs, but the pastor, he don't like these kind of songs. So there's a spirit that begins to rise up that tries to dominate the authority that God has put in place. Mm -hmm. So it's the same characteristics, but for some reason we have attached it 
to the feminine uh, gender because we've seen it as a queen in Ab- in Ahab's day. And, and he was the king. And then we've seen it as a woman in the book of Revelation. So it does manifest itself a lot of times through uh, that gender, but that's not the limits of its abilities. Right. And let me just uh, attach an addendum to that as well. Uh, when, you, when you start talking about uh, seducing, uh, uh, seduction is uh, to entice one mm-hmm. with something to allure them or to lure them out of uh they are um familiarity or to lure them out of their safe haven or from under a, a place of protection whenever we think of seducing or seduction of course we do think of a woman uh because a woman uh, has those qualities right and uh what is the one thing that a man can be seduced by its sexual advancements and that yes. type of thing so when the when the scripture says by seducing spirits that means the spirit is coming to lure and coming to bait you with mm-hmm. whatever it is that you are uh attracted to or whatever it is that that's you right. were attracted to and so that's what it's that's what it's talking about it brings the thing that will um catch your attention and lure you in it's kind of like fishing bait that's right. Uh, there's certain kind of fish. If you want to catch, you got to put a certain type of bait. Exactly. Uh, certain bait, like the things that wiggle a lot. Mm-hmm. So if 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 a man, uh, well, I won't go into all that. But um, uh, well, yes, I will a little bit. If, if a man is one that likes uh, uh, dark women or hippie women or whatever, whatever, then the devil's going to take that and he's going to lure them exactly. in by that. So that's what the, the, that it's a spirit. So every, that's what it's talking about when it talks about a seducing spirits like and to your point it it brings it gives you what you what you want yeah and and uh, i think the easiest way that we see it in our society that's so orientated towards the sexual stimuli anyway is to use the wim- the woman as the illustration as the one being used but uh money is also a big allurement and right. it's there for women and it's there for men Absolutely. but it's the same deception Absolutely. it is the same allurement is the same enticement and so is intoxicating power uh, yes. to be the head of the church i've got to be the pastor or i've uh, i've got to be the politician i've got to have respect yes so you know though we kind of use the woman as our example right. it's not the only example does that help you out any Yes, sir. Thank or did I just so. totally miss it? Did I totally miss it? I mean, <laughs> no, you did not. You did well. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank God you for calling. We appreciate calling. you. Okay. God All right. bless you. Bye-bye. Amen. Thank thank God for uh, Minister Ben and calling in. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 you know, that's true. Uh, many times uh, we just liken the Jezebel spirit unto a woman. Yes. It can be used in, in either gender. Uh it's predominantly seen in women yes. uh, from from my studies. From a sexual standpoint, because a woman's real strength over a man is her seductive ability. Yes. And in a man, you're going to see more of the spirit of Absalom. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've, I've studied that a little Strong, bit as well. Yes. Beautiful and in charge and going to take control. Yes. Uh, but the lady, that spirit that is uh, that do- dominating Absalom spirit, uh, that woman has just a strong Oh, spirit absolutely. And Jezebel to absolutely. counteract it. And both are sin, both are wrong. Yes. And both spirits need to be defeated in our lives. And they always will be attracted to, many times, a uh, Jezebel spirit anyway, a prophetic ministry. They yes. have to get to leadership because that's where their power is influenced. They, they, have to inf- they have to infiltrate leadership because they're going to use their power, but they're going to use the face of the leader to do mm-hmm. their, their work. Okay, let me... God spoke to me today, and this is what God told me. Mm-hmm. Anywhere you find an Elijah ministry, signs, wonders, miracles, prophetic, mm-hmm. you will find a spirit of Jezebel. Wow. Praise God. That is Satan's answer for the power of Elijah. Mm-hmm. And that is Satan's answer still today for a man of God or a church that God is using greatly or a ministry yes. that's on fire. Yes. It is still the same answer. It is lure it away, yes. tempt it, entice it, yes. deceive it, and then conquer it. That's right. Get it to surrender its anointing. 
It's always wow. after the anointed one. Absolutely. Always after the when it was when the ministry surrenders its anointing to a seducing spirit uh, of Jezebel, money, prestige, then the ministry is on the way down, and Jezebel yes. will eventually collapse it all together. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we got to be very, very careful about it. And I think it's something that's very important to, to deal with because, again, the variables that, that's, that's about to come, uh, we, were, we were talking uh, uh, yesterday, and I was telling you about how I saw earthquakes and mm-hmm. all types of calamities and mudslides and uh, various things. Uh, saints of God, when we tell you about these things, it's not number one. We're not trying to scare you. That's right. Um, to to follow God or anything of, of the kind, but understand one thing: that whenever uh, the Bible says uh, that uh, righteousness exalts a nation, yes, but sin is a reproach to any people. Mm-hmm. And when we look at the pattern of Israel, we see that. Whenever they disobeyed God as a nation, the nation was judged. And many times we don't understand that when these particular harbingers start coming in and manifesting themselves, uh, warnings of judgment, we don't pay attention to them. That's right. And we got to understand that one of the greatest uh, harbingers has already happened as it relates to uh, America. And when I mean harbinger, I'm talking about judgment or warning of judgment. Yes. Uh, it, it's uh, the, the defense system has been infiltrated. Mm-hmm. And we saw that 9-11, mm-hmm. 2001, um, where we thought we were invincible and yep. so forth and so on. But we have forgotten God. We've taken God out. See, the, the, the problem is, it is, <clears throat> excuse me, we, we want God out of, <clears throat> excuse me, prayer out of school. We want uh, the scriptures out of uh, school. We want uh, everything. The Ten yeah. Commandments pulled down. But then when things happen, then we say, call on God. Or, listen at this, we say, well, where was God when this stuff happened? If y'all say he's so good, I can tell you where he was. He was kicked out of the schools. He was kicked out of out of the the, the 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 government buildings he was mm-hmm. kicked out of the judicial buildings mm-hmm. he was kicked out that's where he was kicked out of the military he kicked out of the military so you want to know where he was he was kicked out yeah. so this is why these things happen and 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 so many times this is because people want to stick their finger at God and say well where was it if he was so good we kicked him out of everything mm-hmm. and judgment is coming and this is why we again the church have to be in a position we have to be ready and 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 not allow these things to get us off course and pull us away from the the real truth of what's really happening because these things are going to happen and we really got to be ready for what's coming yeah and we're on the verge of major calamities across the world yes. not just in this country but across the across world. the world when when jesus gave uh the signs of the end times he didn't say in israel he didn't say in any one specific spot he said earthquakes and divers, divers all places. over the place. Yes. Uh, natural disasters all over the place. And if you go online, you can find some information about 2015, current events up to 2015. And you will be shocked at the things that you will see, when, especially when they play those clips one right after the other, when they show you that these animals died, these whales died, these birds yes. died. The earthquake uh, and just the distort, the, just tore through some city streets and ripped them in half. And you don't see all this on the news all the time either. No. But it's there and all these things happen. And the, it's God's warning sign. Yes. And we're not heeding it. Uh, just we've been de- so desensitized by sin and by the world until now. You know, I remember a couple of years ago, the first threat that I heard about if we don't, if they don't pass this new bill, the government's going to shut down. Mm -hmm. And the world went crazy. Man, every news thing said the government's going to shut down. If they don't pass this bill, and right at the last minute they passed the bill. Well, they've been doing that now for about four years. Wow. And now when they say the government's going to shut down, and by the way, it's going on right now. And how many of you know about it? Not many. They've got a bill to pass, but I think it's by December the 22nd. And if not, the government's going to shut down. It's already in the, but nobody hears about it. Well, I've been desensitized, and everybody automatically thinks, well, they're going to fix it. Yeah. They're going to extend the credit limit. How are they going to keep extending something? It's like you and I keep getting new 
a visa or something. We don't ever pay it. All we do is you get into the visa. Sooner or later, we're not going to get the visa. Absolutely. Too much debt. Too much debt. So I'm just saying we've been desensitized. Judgment is coming. And when we say it, everybody says, oh, yeah, okay. What's next? Tell me something more exciting than that. Right. And they haven't got stores of food. They haven't got cash on hand. They haven't got water supplies on, set to the side. Mm. Uh, they don't have anything. I'm not saying become one of these big time preppers. I'm saying some preparation for at least several months. And your family and your children won't be at begging for bread from the neighbors. And you know, and 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 I have witnesses that that have been around the, the ministry uh, for years. But as God is my witness, I prophesied storing water and food years mm-hmm. ago. Yes. I'm talking years ago. I'm talking anywhere from three to four years ago. Right. I prophesied that. And and many times people think that when you hear a prophecy that, well, tomorrow, next month, sometimes, sometimes not. Uh, they think nothing's happened since uh in, in during the the the, the Shmita cycle, they think nothing has happened. It's a whole lot has happened. Yes, it has. It's just the news is not going to tell you because the news is not really the news. It's really just gossip, and they want to uh, they want to keep the, the the narrative that they want going mm-hmm. to keep everybody in a certain place. And it's called mind control. Absolutely. And he who controls the media's of the world can ch- controls the mind of the populace. Yes. And, and, and the Lord, the Lord, let me know, uh, some time ago, he says, there is a false anointing that is on the rise. Mm, Yes. And he said, it's going to, it's going to be so real that it's going to fool many. Yes. And he said, scripture says, just, that's what exactly the word of God tells us. I, 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 as I sit here tonight, if, if any, I mean, I'm, I'm serious. I know sometimes people you know, that listen, that Can I, let to me throw the, the scripture to, in. Yes. Uh, uh, this is found in second Timothy chapter three, okay. verse 13, but evil men and imposters will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Yes. That's what you just said. If anybody that's, that's been around the, the, my, the, my ministry or that, that sits under my ministry, if you're listening and you know, I'm telling you the truth, I prophesied this, uh, I don't know, a month or so ago, mm. Uh, it, you call in and just <laughs> just let us know you yeah, heard it. <laughs> let us know you heard it. I'm not because sometimes people think you're just coming up with stuff when you're right. on the air. But I'm serious. The Lord and and matter of fact, one time it was during um, it was during the um, uh, this last revival that we had. Um, now watch nobody's listening now, and then won't call. Say he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a liar. I, I can vouch for that. It's but, truth. Yes, but um, he said there's a false anointing that's coming, and it's going to, it's going to to to, um, it's going to be very strong, and it, it, there are going to be miracles and different things that's going to be happening, but it's going to deceive many. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've got to to be on the look. We've got to be very careful uh, and not fall uh, into the trap uh, because in the numbers of access, if you want to call in uh, is 803-335-3131. Again, 803-335-3131. Um, and, and so many times people are they're falling prey to yes. an anointing that's that's not of God. Yes, and you know when you listen to a preacher or evangelist, or oh, go I think ahead. I got a lifeline. We got here. a lifeline. <laughs> Call you live on the air with Kingdom Talk. Uh, good evening, uh, uh, Pastor Washington and uh, Pastor Hall. Good evening. I good evening. Listening, I was listening when you were talking about the times that you prophesied about putting away food and water. Um, the first time I remember you prophesying about that was um, in revival at um in uh in johnson at the minister's church that sings with um minister smith with the radio angels you were doing revival okay. at um his his church and you told us back then it's about five years ago on um, this past july to start putting away uh, water and food and and perishable items and stuff just just different things that we would need when all of this stuff would start happening. And that's the first time I remember, but there have been um, more prophecies since then concerning that. 
Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Well, thank you for calling yeah, in. I think we got another one trying to call in too, but right. I appreciate okay. that uh, because uh, I didn't want folks to think I was lying. <laughs> we know better. Yes, sir. Amen. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. God bless. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, so, yeah, the, the other caller that was calling in, you can call back right now, 803-335-3131. Uh, so, Pastor, we're in a very, uh, very crucial time, very um, a pivotal moment. And uh, we're going to see some things. And the Lord also said when we were talking the other, the other day, he said we're getting ready to move into a time of suddenly. That's right. See things things are going to happen fast. Yes. And, and that meant the good, too. Mm-hmm. That meant the miracles. That meant the healings. Uh, that meant the moving of the Spirit in our churches and people flooding the church, looking for answers and getting saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's, it's in the negative, but God's got that balance going. He's also going to resurrect it in the good, in the power of His Spirit operating. Let's go to the phone lines here real quick. Call you live on the Era Kingdom Talk. Well, God bless you again. This is Minister Sarah Bennon, and Praise I God. am a member at Joshua Generation. Hallelujah. And no, you're not lying. <laughs> we already knew that, <laughs> but actually, we appreciate you yeah. vouching for your pastor. <laughs> That's right. He actually um, yeah, prophesied under the anointing of God about the fourth anointing, um, and he even elaborated on the teaching of how one can be gifted and not be anointed by God, just mm. like a psychic, you know, and kind of went on with that. So God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you. God bless you. Okay. Amen. I, I I love my Joshua. Uh, they support Saints. you, brother. Yes. They got your back. They got my back. Economic injustices. Let's go to the prophet, uh, the, the, the prophetic, uh, some things that we touched on some, there are many some months people ago. right now that are waiting till they get a certain age so they can uh, receive Social Security. And all. It's going to be gone. Spirit of God would even tell you to don't don't wait on the government because the government will go bankrupt. I see social storms as it relates to our social order. I see storms coming. Now is the time. For 2016 and 2017 shall bring about somewhat of a new world. Mm. For the world that you see today, you will not see then. And this was months ago, Pastor. Yeah, I remember talking about it. uh, Was it around the middle? It'll be a rise and a fall. It was around the middle of the year. Yes. In government and in Christendom. Perversion shall rise to the extreme. Well, you shall see perversion in the streets of your cities like you have never seen before. For the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah is on the rise. And you will see all kind of sexual acts even in the streets of New York City, San Francisco, California. The spirit of protest is on the rise again. For you shall see people pro- protesting on every level. We see that now, Pastor. But there yeah. will be many that will Since you rise a lot of protests and say, in the spirit of yes. pride, and Please say, I have a right to do what I'm doing. You don't have to believe what I'm telling you. I know what I hear by way of the Holy Ghost, and you shall see it. We shall see it. We shall see lewd acts in the streets. You know, Pastor Hall, I, I wanted to touch on that um, uh, because at the beginning, we missed the very uh, first part of it. But um, if, if my mind served me correctly, we were, uh, the Lord was saying that at the end of 2015, uh, at least part of it, that we're going to see economic injustices. That's right. Um, and then what we just heard about uh, the spirit of protest. Now, re- re- this, this, like you said, this is like the middle of the year. Yeah, as far as I remember, it was around the middle. I can't yes. put the, my finger on the exact date, but I, I, it was months either. and months ago. Yes, and so we, we've we seen that, that spirit of protest. Like It's just strong. Yes. 
And the the, the rise uh, in the homosexual agenda just in these last several months has skyrocketed as well. Absolutely. There's no stopping uh, the homosexual agenda, it looks like. Mm. It's just like it's on a snowball uh, downhill uh, type uh, roller coaster. Yes. And uh, anything that gets in its way because of political correctness, <clears throat> hate crime laws, and anybody not willing to make them a cake for their homosexual agenda, yes. uh, anybody not willing to uh, perform their ceremonies is all being brought to court. And uh, lawsuits are crippling many good Christian saints who will not bend or bow their knee to bail yes. Yes. And, and this uh, homosexual agenda. You know, Pastor, um, one of the things that the, the enemy is going to use in this hour, and we're getting to the close uh, to exit the broadcast, but... Um, one of the things that he's going to use in his hour is a spirit of fear. Yes. Because the acts that the devil uses with these terrorist groups is not as much of the act that they want to get. It's the spirit of fear that they want to get in you. Yes, that's right. Because when you become, oh, I know what it was I needed to tell you, um, that uh, the Lord told me also that, that you're going to start seeing these, and I prophesied this uh, probably a month or two ago, um, that they were going to start targeting football games and stadiums uh in yes. different places like that because if he can stop the people from going to certain places what is he going to do shut down the community he's going to shut yep. down money flow fear fear it's all based on fear it's almost time for us to exit the broadcast pastor wow. give me your um give me some final thoughts on, on certainly uh the days that we're living in as the bible declares they would be are perilous times certainly there is a degree of deception that the world has never seen. Certainly there is a, a degree of iniquity that is in our face every day in the way people act, the way they dress, and what we see and hear on the television as well as in the streets. Jesus told us these things would be here, and the Word told us to be ready. Yes. So I just want to encourage everybody, you see the signs, prepare your hearts, give everything to Jesus Christ and to His service, leave nothing here, yes. no connections to this world, connect 100% with Jesus, you'll be all right. Absolutely. Listen, I uh, want to encourage you, um, prepare yourself. Uh, have some food, some water, some different things yeah. set aside. Listen, we're not telling you, telling you to go build a barn, but understand, Noah, Noah was warning them for years. It's going to rain, but they didn't want to come in. I'm telling you, we've been warning you. Uh, when the prophet begin to speak, take heed to the word and prepare mm-hmm so that uh that we that you'll be prepared in in the time of of judgment because things are going to happen listen we love you to life we pray something was said tonight to bless you i want to thank all those from uh the ministry of joshua generation house of faith for calling in and and just uh not leaving me out to dry i appreciate you i love you i thank god for you and all of you that uh are listening as well that uh haven't called in or may not ever call in you let us know in the communities that you're listening we appreciate you for doing that um listen uh, unless the Lord tarries, and um, we'll be back here um, the same same time, same station, right here on WCC ninety nine point nine. We love you to life. Until next time, peace and blessings on you. To You've been listening to Kingdom Talk. The views and opinions of this broadcast may or may not be the views and opinions of this radio station, staff, and or ownership. We thank you for listening to Kingdom Talk, and we appreciate all of your calls. Remember to tune in to Kingdom Talk every Thursday from 7 until 8 p.m. And remember that you are a king's kid, so always speak up, speak life, speak kingdom, Kingdom Talk. Until next Thursday, God bless you and good night. These days, we're pinching pennies everywhere we can. On groceries, utilities, even insurance. But get into one car accident and your rates could rise as much as 40% just because of it. Suddenly your affordable insurance isn't. Unless God bless you. You're listening to 99.9 FM WUCC, Williston, Aiken, North Augusta area. Thank you for listening. This is Sarah Bennon with the Fruit of the Spirit broadcast.